No sleep for a week, I've been drinking. No sleep for a week, yeah, we can fall apart. I fall apart. Hello, my people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name's Jimena. Okay, so let me backtrack a bit and explain what's going on in today's video. So a couple of days ago, my mom was gifted a bunch of men's clothes and she was going to donate them to Goodwill. But then I was like, hold up, let me check out some of these clothing pieces. Because those of you who are true supporters know how much I love men's clothing. So as I was looking through the clothing, I thought to myself, I can make some really cute outfits with these. You know, add my own little feminine touch to it. All right, now let me show you guys what I came up with. First men's clothing item that I chose are these Levi's 505 denim knee length shorts. When I first saw these, I was like, there is no way these are going to fit me. I mean, like, they're guy shorts. But then I slipped them on, and let me tell you, chef's kiss. Mm. They fit so well around my waist, and I love how they're fitted, but down towards my thigh and hamstring area, they're a bit baggy, which I like. With the shorts, I decided to pair this black bodysuit with embroidered roses around the chest area. I'm not sure if, I, if I'm saying that correctly, em embroidered but it's okay and i got this at forever 21 for the shoes i went for the simple black heeled sandals as well as a simple black purse and for those chilly nights i decided that i would throw on this white silk long sleeve top as a cover-up i believe it just ties in with the outfit really well nothing too crazy but yeah it's still very flattering this is by far one of my favorite outfits. I felt like a bad bitch in this outfit. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going to wear the hell out of these shorts. <laughs> the second clothing piece is this tourist style type of shirt. And I'm guessing it's from Puerto Vallarta since it says so on the front pocket. <laughs> One thing that I liked about the shirt was the sleeves that are cut and scrunched at the elbows. I also liked the two big pockets on the front. It just adds a bit of detail than it just being a plain wine shirt. Since it is oversized, I tucked in the shirt into these mint green shorts that I got at Target and pulled it out a bit to give it this effortless baggy look. To tie the outfit together, I added a brown belt and brown sandals that I both got at TJ Maxx. For some reason, this outfit is giving me a bit of a data vibe, but... I'm all for it. I also added this cute handbag, which I believe ties in perfectly with the color scheme of the whole outfit. Alright, the third clothing piece is this oversized green old navy sweater. I think we all can agree that oversized sweaters are a must have. You can dress them up or dress them down. You can sleep in them, you can cry in them. <laughs> so what I did here is that I tied up the left and right corners with an elastic and tucked them inside thus creating this cropped baggy sweater. I've paired the sweater with this tight skin colored mini skirt. Adding a tight skirt I believe balances out the outfit, you know, baggy on top and tied at the bottom for the shoes i went for my feelers and i also added this small yellow handbag i love this outfit so much i see myself wearing this outfit to school you know it is very cute but very comfortable as well <music> on to item number four which are these washed out black levi's 511 knit jeans again i was not expecting these to fit me but i'm so glad they did i love the way they fit around my hips and my tiny booty i also like how towards the bottom they flare out a bit with the jeans i have paired a basic white bodysuit with this adorable floral bucket hat which i unfortunately don't know where it's from but i will link similar ones down in the description box bucket hats were a big trend last year i may have gone on the bucket hat bandwagon a bit late but hey at least i got on and i'm so glad i did and to complete the outfit i wore once again my filas filas just literally go with everything i also added this cute vintage square bag and i love the two little foam pockets on the back of it. Overall, I love this outfit. It really gives off those street style vibes, which I always tend to go for. The 
fifth item I chose was the solid colored flannel shirt. Now in the video, I feel like the true color of the shirt is not fully shown because of the sunlight, but the color is a deep blue greenish color, leading more towards navy, but with a hint of green. So what I did here is that I tied the flannel with an elastic in the back and tucked it underneath my bra to give it that cropped look. To go with the flannel, I chose an all white outfit, you know, really going for those beach vibes. Both the white shorts and white bra are from Forever 21. And for the shoes, I went for these black platform sandals. And as an accessory, I added this cute black mini backpack. What I love about flannels and button-up shirts is that they are very versatile. You can wear them in so many ways. As you guys can see here, I buttoned up the last button on the shirt and it gives a look of a very cute cropped long sleeve and is a bit more covered up. This is for my girls out there who want to be covered up but still want to be a little bit scandalous and show some skin. This is the perfect trick for you. <laughs> The last and final men's item I chose are these old navy wool shorts. And let me tell you all, these are so comfortable. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I slept in these, okay? They are just so comfy. <laughs> Since the shorts were a bit too long for my liking, I did roll them up to shorten them. For this outfit, I went for more of a casual, sporty look. I paired the shorts with a light purple cropped sweater and my Tommy Hilfiger sneakers. I actually wanted to make a video with pure athleisure outfits because I basically live in gym clothes. <laughs> But yeah, just let me know if you guys are interested in a video like that. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Also, comment down below which one was your favorite outfit. Remember to always spread love and positivity. And until next time, bye!